So if you've been around my channel for any length of time watching my Anno content, you will know that I am not the biggest fan of Crown Falls. Uh, it's a really cool landmass to build on the first few times, but eventually it becomes very repetitive. Uh, you know, the landscape does not change or anything. The, uh, the old world gets left behind. You pretty much focus everything into Crown Falls. And Cape Trelawney itself is very very lifeless all you have there if you don't have ai is old nates you don't have any of the neutral traders around to uh to play with no no archie no kahina no eli all that stays back in the old world so cape trelawney feels very very lifeless and it just gets kind of boring and repetitive after a little while well not anymore, to an extent. Uh, today, I have something really, really cool for you. This is a mod that uh, I was sent to check out and test out that I am super, super excited for. So let me introduce you to Crown Falls in the old world, including Old Nate. So if you take a look down at our mini map down here in the lower left-hand corner, you will see there is Crown Falls. There is Crown Falls, and just to show you where we are at, for sure, we are right here in the old world, okay? Cape Trelawney is uh, showing up right here just because I am in creative mode at the moment, but old world, we go there, there she be, there is, there's Crown, there's Crown Falls in the old world, and we do have Eli, there's Madame Kahina, there's Archie, and there's old Nate. This is so, so cool. Now there is a mod over on mod.io, uh, the in-game mod browser from a, a mod author named Serp that is called Continental Snowflake. Now it is essentially the exact same thing as this mod right here, except it does not include old Nate. He does not include that. All it is is crown falls in the old world, but it doesn't have old Nate in it. The reason I like having old Nate here is convenience. Now I have all the neutral traders in one place and I can play with all of them. This, this is amazing. This, this makes me super excited to play uh, Anno again because now I can just stay in the old world. I don't have to leave the old world just to do Cape Trelawney. Uh, and it also, it also looks a bit different. Cape Trelawney, um, has a slightly different uh, filter to the uh, graphical, the graphics of it. It looks a little bit different. I think I can go there. Yeah, I can go here. So you, oh, oh yep, yeah, never mind. It ain't gonna let me do it. I forgot. I had a little secret I'm about to tell you. I can't go to Cape Trelawney technically. Uh, anyways, Cape Trelawney actually has a slightly orange filter to it, which a lot of people don't like. Well, we have the old world, of course, has the default filter so it, cape crown falls looks completely different it looks a lot more bright and vibrant it doesn't have that orange hue to it so this is super super cool now what was that little thing i just said about the little secret about why i can't go to cape trelawney well i technically have cape trelawney disabled thanks to this mod right here this is also by serp and this disables sunken treasures uh session this disables the Cape Trelawney session. He did this for people that might not want to have to have, who, who may not have sunken treasures or may not want to play with sunken treasures, but might have another mod that requires it or something. This is basically a backend support mod. Uh, it's not an actual mod that you play with. It's like a, it's a support mod is all it is. The reason that I have these two together is because of old Nate. Having the same neutral trader or the same neutral AI in two different locations does some funky weird stuff with the game. It doesn't really much care for that. So it's actually just better to only have one type, one neutral trader per game. That's it. Weird things happen with multiple neutral traders. So we disable these other Cape Trelawney session. We completely disable it. And we just have this one. And that's it. This is all you need. This right here is, this is like the cherry on top of a cake. It is so perfect. It is just so perfect. I have everything I want in one region. 
and it is customizable uh, with different settings. It's just the snowflake map. This is just replaces the snowflake map, so you can try different seeds and have different things. And again, different seeds are going to generate different islands. Uh, the layouts are generally about the same. You're going to have some larger islands, uh, larger and medium islands spread around Cape Trelawney or Crown Falls itself, a few more on the outside edge and everything. And then plenty of small islands in between for, you know, those mines and clay pit islands, stuff like that. So this is super, super cool. Now, here is the sad part. OK, here's the sad part, you guys. Y'all can't play with this right now. I know, I know, I hear every, I hear everyone screaming right now. You cannot play with this mod right now. As of the time of this video going live, it's not available publicly. This was sent to me by someone to check out and play around with and test. He is doing a few things before he's going to consider uploading it, hopefully to mod.io and to Nexus later on. And when he does, I will update this video's description and pinned comments to make that announcement and everything. So keep a check on this every so often. I'll also probably make an announcement like through the community posts here on YouTube, and I'll post about it over on my Discord server. The link to that is down below. Low. Now, if you want to play with Crown Falls in the old world, but also still have access to Nate, then you can get Serp's mod, the Continental Snowflake, and just play with that. You don't need any other mods. You don't need the support mod in the background because Nate will not be present in the old world. Crown Falls will still be there. So technically you'll have two Crown Falls you can build on if you want to do that. Uh, but yes, this is so cool. I'm actually really excited. I'm going to be starting a new playthrough. Uh, I'm actually going to do a new million population playthrough. Another million pop playthrough uh, for Anno 1800 using this map right here. No Cape Trelawney, just Old World Crown Falls. Uh, and so that is going to be the goal. A new million population playthrough. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are excited for it because this right here has had me giddy all day waiting to come home from work and check this map out. So let me know what you think about this down below. Let me know how much you want this. And let's all like hope and pray that the person who sent this to me is able to get a few things worked out on his end and get this uploaded for us all because I definitely want more people to try out this map. I will see you guys very, very soon in a new playthrough for Anno 1800. Until then, take care.